In just a few hours, a Cedar Park company could make history. Firefly Aerospace will attempt to land its spacecraft on the moon. It's something only one other private company has accomplished before. KV's Daniel Perot joins us live in the studio. And Daniel, a Cedar Park company is making its final preparations tonight for the moon landing. Darren Isha, the robotic lander has been in space for 45 days and it's been orbiting the moon for the last two weeks. This is a step-by-step -step look at what the last little bit of Blue Ghost descent to the moon's surface will look like. Once it's ready, it's going to flip over, then begin its final descent about 12 minutes it'll take. We caught up with the Firefly team to see how they're feeling ahead of the landing. This is big league kind of, you know, you know, hard stuff to do. So, so cautious optimism is, is the best way to describe it. Firefly's robotic lander, Blue Ghost, preparing for a daring descent, the craft beaming back footage of a crater-laden far side of the moon as it orbited 60 miles above. We had a great chance to ease into operations and really get a feel for, for the vehicle's performance and, and help support the payloads. In January, the craft went up into space, allowing the team time to test its systems. During landing, tension will be high inside this room, the Mission Operations Center in Cedar Park. We will be touching down in the northeastern quadrant of the moon, uh, a, a large feature called Mare Crisium. If all goes according to plan, Blue Ghost will become the second privately built vehicle to land on the moon successfully. The first, Intuitive Machines, another Texas-based company which landed near the moon's south pole last February. Maruthi Akella is a professor at the University of Texas. He helped with that moon landing. My group contributed to the guidance algorithm that uh, enabled that mission. The spacecraft is delivering a fleet of NASA instruments to study the moon's environment ahead of human exploration. These are still, I think I would say, early building blocks. We need to understand how humans can operate uh, far away from Earth with uh, little or less support. Uh, uh, and safely do that uh, before we can hope to go to Mars. It'll operate on the moon for one lunar day, about two weeks here on Earth. Doing experiments on the surface regolith, even looking back at the Earth uh, with an X-ray telescope, looking at the Earth's magnetosphere and how it interacts with the sun. The solar-powered craft may operate on battery power a few hours into the lunar night before going silent. This spacecraft is actually going to stay on the surface of the moon. So, you know, once it's there, it's going to be there for, for, for the rest of time. Firefly looking to stick the landing, taking one giant leap into the history books. Firefly says Blue Ghost is on track for its scheduled landing early tomorrow morning around 2.34 a.m. Central Time. NASA will broadcast a live stream starting at 1.20 a.m. Central Time on NASA TV.